I mean, here's another wine that you want to get in a point system, which a lot of people seem to understand for a lot of reasons, complexity, but complexity, cleanliness, balance, mineral flavors, great fruit flavors, no signs of aging. It's signs of a wine that has matured into a great wine and doesn't feel like and taste like it's going anywhere downhill. It's just getting better as it gets older, which is amazing, which is what the greatest white wines in Burgundy were as well. But this doesn't have any oxidation tones or anything like that. And it doesn't have it in the color either. So you get the real color of Albarino, which is more golden than you expect it to be. And you kind of think that maybe it could be a little oxidizing or something. That's the color this grape produces. But look, this hasn't gone into some kind of gold chartreuse thing that's going downhill. No signs of oxidation or anything. And it's just, I mean, it's spectacular. This wine I have in my hand, this 2002, which was not supposed to be a great vintage. But sometimes a, a little bit of an off vintage in white wine or rosé is even better because you get a better acid level. We're talking about a 97, 98 point wine in my estimation. Uh, after tasting a lot of white wines in Spain, uh, this one, 2002, maybe because it's got now seven years on it, um, is as good as white wine gets in Spain.